It's day two at the Martin Drake power plant as fire crews continue sifting through the damage. My understanding, one of the turbines is got a lot of heavy damage, heat and smoke damage, There's some of the circuit boards. Um, I'm not sure how much else was damaged, but the difficult part about answering that question is there's damage to the naked eye and then there's damage that's unseen that we're not able to quite evaluate just yet. Since the plant is shut down, Colorado Springs Utilities is pulling energy from surrounding power plants and buying power from a third party. When we have an outage, we can redispatch power through various power or various um, transmission and distribution lines. So yesterday we experienced an outage to about 22,000 customers. So we were able to do some switching, move power around and actually restore that power very quickly. CSU is unsure how much this will affect its customers, but do say the replacement power now that Martin Drake is down is double the fuel cost. Likely our power costs will be higher. We have to go back and assess and see if that will actually have an effect on the rates and our fuel costs within the rates. Um, if we do have adjustments, we could have one as soon as June 1 or July 1, but again, it's really too early to assess right now. Charrier says as far as the 62 employees who work inside Martin Drake, they are on paid leave until further notice.